Hey guys, welcome back to this new series about Godot and today we will talk about two things, C-sharp and tower defense. So before we actually talk about tower defense, we will talk about C-sharp and more specifically Godot C-sharp. In order to create a project with both Godot and C-sharp, you need to do quite a few things to install your workspace. The first thing we want to do is obviously to download Godot, but this time you will want to download the .NET version of it. So I usually download both versions every time. Now the next thing that you can actually do is to go in the Godot documentation and just breathe through this page of the c -sharp basics. It's always a good thing to know all those few notes and attention things that they are throwing in there, but basically what we'll do is look at what's important in the sense of what you must do. Here you do want to download and install the latest stable version of the SDK from the .NET download page. So you will go in this page and you will download the SDK. So the, the 9.0 is going to be very fine. If you're watching this very far in the future, then I hope this still works. Anyway, that's all you need to do for the prerequisites. And technically, uh, you could start working with Godot C Sharp from now. But the thing is that without a good editor, it can be kind of complicated. So it is highly suggested that you do use an external editor and not the, in the built-in Godot editor to create your code. So what I suggest to you, my personal choice for this is to use Visual Studio 2022. So you want to go download Visual Studio. Um, usually you, you can get that from Microsoft very easily and you want to get the community version, which is the free version. You don't need anything else, 100%. And we are almost done. The thing is that when you will download Visual Studio, what you will actually get is the installer. At some point, uh, you, you will see this view here, which will prompt you what is it that you do want to your project. And you want to go in the desktop and mobile and find .NET desktop development and desktop development with C++. Those are the two that you want to use and you're now ready to install. Everything else should be actually quite straightforward and just a line of yes, 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 so let's go. Once Visual Studio is installed, you are actually ready to open your first Godot project. If you have already worked with Godot before, you will see that the .NET version of it is essentially the same. So you want to create a project here, and I'm gonna name this Pshop project. So far, we still have the very basic Godot editor, and we are almost ready to go. There is just one thing that you will need to do only once, technically, or maybe every time you change the editor because you upgrade or something. You want to go in the editor settings right there, and you want to look for editor, basically. And scrolling down, you will have the .NET category and the editor thing and you will be able to change this external editor. So you can choose Visual Studio and hopefully your Godot will be able to find your Visual Studio installation on your computer. And that's all you have to do for the setup. But at the moment, your project is just a regular Godot project. So what we want to do is to actually create a C-sharp project or a C-sharp solution within this Godot project. And this is actually very easy to do. The simplest way is just to, in your resource here, create a new script and choose a C sharp script. So you just create that. Actually, you don't have to create it that way. You can just work on your project and do it when you create your first script, it works perfectly fine. The thing is that by creating the script, Godot will create a solution, a C sharp project for us. And you can confirm that everything's right because first you are able to create a C-sharp script. And second, you will have this little hammer that pops at the top, which allows you to build your project. So now you should be able to open the script and this will open Visual Studio and open the solution. And 
this should be ready to go. Since we're there, I'm thinking maybe we can just do something very simple, like uh, let's make this simple, you know, hello world thing. So I'm gonna override the usual ready function that we work with in Godot for every node. And I'm gonna change this to print a message in the console, which is going to be the hoi there. So as you can see, it is already quite different from GD script. We will go through this as it comes during the series. Uh, this is really meant to be a introduction to C-sharp really. So anyway, don't mind if you don't understand everything right now, it's not really important yet. All we have to do is to go back to our Godot engine. And in this Godot engine here, we will just, you know, create a node to attach this script to. Let's save this at the root and attach the node. So we just run the scene and we can see that we do indeed have a little message in a console here. So that works fine. Just one thing which I think is important. Actually, I don't know if it comes from my computer, from C Sharp, from Godot or whatever. When, especially when you're working with C Sharp, I'm extra careful. Uh, when I close the game right here to always to make sure to always stop here from the go to button right here because I've had some very nasty crashes when trying to close the game widely <laughs> or from the window so yeah uh, I never had the problem by closing the game from here so if you want to avoid nasty crashes like I did I actually once had this during the stream I had to restart the computer so yeah is that uh, I think it's it, it's fine. Anyway, that's all I have to show you for this project in this video. We will actually start making the game in the next video, which is going to be quite fun. And I will see you in this one. So you can like and subscribe to help the channel. And if you want to go a step further, you can become a member of the channel. And eventually I will uh, start uh, having extra perks for the numbers, like releasing the videos earlier, like when they're done, or even, you know, having sharing the draft videos of things that I don't know if I'm going to publish them yet, then that kind of things that, uh, that's the kind of things I'm not settled on yet. So anyway, you take care and I'll see you in the next one.